Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Viewer today, and today, well, what we're doing is, well, we're going to be taking a look at this beautiful, or do you want to call it beautiful, this gigantic new creature, the Rhinoclus, Rhinosaurus, uh, I am butchering that name probably so badly here, but it is the newest creature that was added to our, well, a few days ago, um, I was trying to find another one in the in my world so that I maybe I can show you guys how to tame it but well I really can't find any in my world so we do have to just do what we got here I'm just going to show you guys the abilities of this uh, beautiful creature its attacks and stuff and well I do hear some of you say uh, we have a question in the tank and how in the heck do you got the thing behind you well easily I spawned it in because I couldn't find any so uh, I have to, well, spawn it in. Um, apparently the, there's a lot of people having trouble with these things spawning in their world, but definitely this gigantic creature is fucking humongous. But before we go ahead, I don't know what I get done with that for, uh, let's go collect this sap real quick. Um, well, why you need sap, sap for tank? Uh, because, for one, there's a ability of this creature that you need sap for, and I will be showing you this ability today. Um, that's why I'm up here. And there's another thing too that I can't get mine to do. Um, I tried doing it on uh, PC here, and then I've also tried doing it on um, console because I went over to my console to my single player world, spawned one in, and they're supposed to pick things up, but that's the thing. I can't get mine to pick stuff up, so I'm not sure. Okay, yes, I got some mods in my world, uh, but I just can't pick anything up with it. Like I just can't. Um, I don't know what's the, uh, the 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 problem is and stuff like that. Yes, I know, but uh, but definitely, yeah. This beautiful creature. We're going to be doing a review. A dinosaur review, and this is going to be the type of series that I'm going to do with every Ark creature. Uh, this is going to expand with both Ark 1 and Ark Ascended and Ark 2. So, the playlist will be of that, of every single creature that will be in each of the games. Uh, for now though, we're going to start out with this creature. This beautiful, gigantic thing. And as you can see, yes, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell them. Um... When you do get off of its back, you can actually just still stay on its back. So that's a pretty cool idea. Yeah. And the whole reason why I spawned in this one in is simply because of the thumbnail I wanted to do for it. So, yeah. I'm not sure how the thumbnail is going to be and stuff. But I did put over here a couple of things. Like these right here. Uh, see if I can pick them up. But I just cannot pick them up. Like, it's telling me to use, um, control, and that. I, I, I don't, I don't know why it's not doing it, but maybe you guys might understand why it's not doing it and stuff, and I will also show you guys that there hasn't been a single one spawning in the world yet. Uh, reach Y, as you can see. There's none spawning in the world, uh, which is pretty sad. I did want them to spawn so the way I can show you guys how to tame these things. But uh, if I don't even show you guys how to tame these things, there's probably other YouTubers that will show you how to tame them. Mine's just to show you other things and stuff. But first of all, we'll show you some of the attack animations. Well, actually, let's get to a level ground. Let's first show you this. I mean, it's a loud creature. Very freaking loud and stuff. Um, I mean, I, I you probably could hear it, but for me, I have the volume up just a little bit. And for you guys, I have it turned down just a little bit. And... There we go. Yep. Where is it? Where are these things at? Oh my goodness! What the frick? Uh, sorry for this guys. Sorry for so much. 
Yep. Uh, I didn't think there were so many dialos. What the heck? Thank you. Trying to do a freaking video here. But that's that ability of the attacking ability. Uh, you can actually lift up dinosaurs as well. Um, could also, if you have the sap. Oh, that's not the what I wanted. If you have sap, you throw it in the inventory over here. It should make resin. Uh, what? See, right there. And all my green makes resin out of each sap, so it, it does take some time to make. But let's put some levels into here. Some to weight. Some to damage. One to health. Um, I need a healing potion, so hang on, guys. Uh, healing potion. Let's make one of these healing potions. I just have these mods installed because I was playing in this world a little bit, but yeah. Uh, here we go, buddy. You can have this. As you can see, we already have 10 resin and stuff like that, but um, we did add some levels to it and stuff like that. Uh, that's to go inwards. Let's press, uh, let's see, armor. Control C for armor, and look at that. Even when I get off. Now, I'm not sure what this armor does towards it, but apparently it could do that. And yeah, look at that. Look at that. Uh, let's hide the UI real quick. Look at that. Just look at it. And let's get back with the UI. That's the armor. Uh, toggle raising ammo. Um, you could also toggle its ammo. I think you have to be flying to do that. So let's get up. And boom. Yeah, that stuff like there. You, let's, uh, let's go find something to shoot that. Um, let's go find a big dinosaur with a front or something like that. And let's also bring up my awesome spyglass, which I've already showed you guys about this thing. Uh, so what's. Uh, Huh, it's not shooting it. Okay, why is that? Is it because I'm out of resins? No? There must be a cooldown light then. H. You are require food. Huh. Well, I'm not sure why it's not doing it, but yeah. And you can also do another ability, but what's a uh, land real quick so I can show you this ability. It's a ta taunt video routine. See. Yeah, it looks like they're scared. Yep. Uh, they're of course going to run away from you. Now, let's go see if this works on something bigger. Let's see if we can find a Rex, maybe. Um, and plus, also, watch this. We could also do something. Now, I think with this thing, though, guys, this thing is literally going to make taming dinosaurs or at least bigger dinosaurs a lot more easier because what's what i'm going to do to this parasaur up here i mean i'm not going to want to tame it or anything and yeah ba -ba boom there's not many creatures in the game that can carry this parasaur right here now if you attack them and stuff they will definitely um there we go we'll get the armor off uh Definitely will um, attack you as well, but maybe we could use that other ability. There we go. And look at that. Now, apparently with that though, it, if it stands in that stuff, it will have itself um, with it. Now, can we do this again? Oh, that's the... Let's see if we can make a direct hit, direct hit. As you can see, there's a little uh, lines on top of its, um, on top of the creature. As that goes full, as you can see, it is definitely going to be, well, yeah. Um, 
covered with that stuff. Makes it slower and stuff and probably easier to tame as well. But let's get the heck out of here because that's very loud noise. But definitely, yeah, you could use that stuff to just start taming a bunch of the creatures and all of that uh, around you. Um, you could even use it against Rex. But there's also, I think, another one. I'm not for sure. Um, I'm looking for a Rex, but I know Rexes ain't gonna spawn in a swamp area as well. Um, the whole reason why I'm flying through the swamp is simply so that way if I could see if I could find one of these things, but like I said, it, there hasn't been one spawn in the world, so if it's not gonna spawn, it's not gonna spawn, and we might as well just go and see if we can pick up. No, let's try this. Let's try to pick up a, a Departagus. Oh my gosh, what? You can pick up a Departagus too. It's trying to hit about me. <laughs> okay, bye. You can go. Uh, but yes, this thing can also go in water, which I will show you as well in the water here. But we'll see if we can pick up a Spino. That's right. Let's pick it. Let's try to pick up a Spino. That's not what I pick up, but... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we can pick up a Spino, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, uh... Okay, don't want to hear you, and don't want you attacking me. So, basically, this showed you that we can pick up a Departicus. We can show you... We showed you how... If, that we can pick up a, um... A Spino, and a, um... A parasaur, no a parasaur, parasaur sauce, I something like that. That other thing that we just picked up as well. Let's we'll show you is that we can pick up a Rex. I mean, I could do it to my tamed Rex. So I have my inventory, but let's show you a wild Rex first. Can we find a wild Rex anywhere? And it's raining. The gods of Ark wants to see us suffer with the rain gods. Um. But yeah, these things, if you're wanting to know where they're supposed to spawn at, as far as I know of, they're supposed to be spawning in the swamp area, so if you do want to find them. Uh, but they're only supposed to spawn on two different maps so far, which is the island map, which is the map we're on right now, and also uh, Lost Island as well. So those are the only two maps you're going to find these things at, sadly. Um, but until either... Wildcard decides maybe to add them to a different maps and stuff um, But if you do see them on different maps on the servers that could be because either a person like May where they will spawn on different maps and stuff you can make things do that But I'm trying to find a Rex to show you guys that this thing can definitely pick up a Rex I know Rexes do spawn out oh, right there. So Rex a level 60. I would do we don't need a higher level Rex uh, and look at that! Look at that, boys and girls! Look at that! Look at that! Oh my gosh! Strap you! Oh my freaking goodness! That means you could go ahead, go around the map. Let's say if you want to team a Rex and stuff, you could go ahead, build a teaming pin. Go around, find the Rex that you want to find that's a high level, and just pick it up and bring it back to base to your taming pen, and there you go. You don't have to worry about it. But, Tank, how do you tame these things? Well, it's a pretty simple tame and a pretty easy one, sort of, I guess you could say. Uh, like I said, there's probably other YouTubers that Prey has done it. It showed you how to tame it if you want to go look them up. There's like either Razkark or Santac and a few other YouTubers that Rory has went in more depth with it um, of taming these things. But uh, simply, all you do is that you first have to kill one, and then after you've done killing one, you have to put the little orb thing inside your dinosaur's inventory and go up towards it. Take it down to, I think, 50% of itself or something like that. Um, and then it will attack your dinosaur with a weird attack. And then your dinosaur will be impregnated 
It's just like a Reaper in Silver Way, but for your dinosaur. So yeah. And then it will act for some weird items and all that, but definitely. But first, I want to see, can we pick up a Bronto? Nope, we can't. Okay. So we can't pick up a Bronto. Which, okay, makes sense. I mean, a Bronto is a gigantic global war. And we are not out of stamina yet, okay. But definitely, that is how you tame it. Um, I wish I could have shown you guys how to tame these things. You know, that. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. And do you mind? No. No. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are we done being attacked now? Let's take that off real quick. But definitely that's how you tame them and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys that this thing can swim. And it can. Uh, please. Look at that. Look at that, boys and girls. We can walk on water? <laughs> now let's go in the water. And look at that. We can swim underwater too. This is basically a whole all-terrain vehicle. Or, I mean, dinosaur. Oh, wrong button. And when you get to the top of the water, boom. Get a rip off it and stuff like that. You can't get me there, Mega Gron. No, you can't. Oh, wait, maybe now you can. Yeah. Okay, maybe you can now. <laughs> but now you can't. Now I'm back on land. But definitely, this thing is pretty cool. Um, it does have that ability, like I said, of this right here, if we could actually... It also gets that kind of ability. It doesn't, does, doesn't do a lot of damage. Uh, let's actually see if we could fly upwards. Can we... There we go. It's like little poison darts. Not with the best accuracy and stuff, but... Can we actually hit that? Yep. Not the be biggest amount of damage. Headshots looks like 75. Um, yeah. It sounds like a little pew you done type of thing. Now, I'm not sure if it does anything to it, but this bigger one... That one right there. Like I said... If they stand in it, if we could actually get back out. Oh, wait, it's actually doing it too. Very slowly. Can we do it again? Maybe not. Are we out of resident? Oh, yep, we're out of resident. That's why we can't do no more. But always make sure this thing is supplied up with um, resident, which, like I said, Maybe to get you gotta use sap, and sap's pretty easy to get if you're at the level of actually getting a treehouse and stuff. But all of that abilities and stuff, and the attacking missions and all of that is pretty cool. What oh, this first was that? It must be pissed at me. Let's kill you, and let's kill you. Let's come and die, die, just die. Thank you! I don't think people want to see you to be fighting. Or do they? I don't know. But I do like this thing. It is pretty cool. And like I said, it's a gigantic creature. And I think you can use guns on the back of it too. I'm not sure. I don't think I have anything in my inventory to show you guys. I do have those, but that's basically it. I don't have anything else really to show you. About having a gun. And I'm not in creative mode. I mean, I could definitely go in the creative mode and show you guys. But definitely, this thing is a basically cool, awesome creature. And this is um, supposed to be the last creature. Oh, wait. Crap. What the frick you came from? No, hey, don't leave me. Oh, never mind. It wasn't necessary. Was that necessary? Just land. Good job. Uh, I'm not sure if you could breathe them either, but uh, that would be cool if you could. I should say, could you? Uh, 
I mean, it has a gender, I'm guessing, but then I don't know if that's a... Let's see, uh, so awesome spyglass. It's a female, yeah, it's a female. I'm not sure if you get on like with females when you do tame them and stuff, but... When I start doing arc series... Oh, crap! <laughs> okay, let's go somewhere else. This is dangerous. I'm very dangerous. Around here. Let's go somewhere else, guys. Let's, let's just go somewhere else and talk about this thing. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if, like, if you're going able to get a male when you do get them. Um, but also, apparently, on the stats of your dashboard, it will share the same stats of whatever, like, dashboard you have. So, maybe if you want to sort of breathing up dinosaurs and then do it that way. And then maybe see if you can get any kind of, like, traits from your uh, dinosaur that you have breathed with. Um, like, you know, mating them and stuff. And see if we can get anything completely stronger and stuff with stronger stats. Like I said, this is a simply just a spawned in one. Um, that's all I wanted to do is spawn this thing in so that way I could do a review on it. But, you know, that's all the attacks. Um, the resin stuff, and like I said, you need sap to get the resin. Uh, a really awesome creature. As you can see, we only put one and two white. But, yep, yep, definitely an exciting creature to be having on Ark Survival Evolve, or at least the last creature on Ark 1. Um, and if you guys did catch my video last night, uh, you did hear about me talking about a new creature coming to Ragnarok. So, definitely, that's going to be exciting to actually see what's going to be coming for it. And once the poll happens and stuff, whenever we get to pick which one we want in there, I'm going to try to stay on track of it and see if I can do a video about that. But that's probably... Wow. That's all this creature in a nutshell. Uh, I really do think it's pretty cool. And I do think it's awesome to have this big gigantic bug thing just flying around. It's basically a Sky Giga as everybody's calling it. But I'm not sure if you want to call it a Sky Giga. But yeah, um, we're going to be doing more of these type of videos about every creature on each of Ark's maps. And when Ark Ascend does come out, we'll also do some on the Ark Ascended creatures um, that will be just specialized to just Ark Ascended. And when Ark 2 comes out, I'll be doing some stuff for it as well with creature reviews as well. So expect more videos like this to come out. And this is the first one of this kind. Um, yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video... I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.